Hi there guys, a quick video here on John Moxley and EC3. Since making his debut on the main roster in February, EC3 has had a lacklustre run where he's oftentimes been positioned in matches on WWE main event. Despite fans wanting to see more from EC3, especially in the promo department, questionable booking decisions haven't given him much to work with as of yet. The likely reason for his quick decline after the call-up could be found in John Moxley's interview on Talk is Jericho. Moxley noted WWE was looking to have him lose to a number of people on his way out and find, found it surprising he was brought back to TV week after week in the months and weeks leading up to his exit. In February, EC3 completely, uh, quickly defeated Moxley on Raw in his first main roster match position as the babyface. EC3 was scheduled against Moxley in house shows and fans ended up cheering on Moxley, which Moxley said would come back negatively on EC3. They put me against EC3 debuting from NXT, Moxley said. Great talent, great friend of mine, excited to work with him. They have EC3 coming as a babyface, defeat me in two minutes. The crowd does not like this because it's transparent what's happening. And this is not um, good for EC3 because now he's going to get the backlash. So it was an unfair position for him to be put in. We get to that weekend, I'm working with EC3 on the house shows, now I'm the biggest baby face on the show. I'm a heel, I'm thumbing him in the eye, I'm making fun of the town. It doesn't matter, they're violently rejecting him as a baby face and they're cheering the hell out of me. It's got nothing to do with him, it's like anti-WWE. In this morning's edition of Wrestler Observer Radio, the same topic came up and Dave Meltzer also confirmed 100% that's the reason EC3 is where he's at in the company. After EC3 initially won, the very next week on Raw, EC3 and Moxley had a rematch and Moxley ended up beating him. EC3 has not had a singles match on Raw since. In regards to the house shows, Meltzer noted, that the basic thoughts thought was crowds were going to cheer the stars that have been around for years, heels or face, over the new NXT star that most of them don't know, putting EC3 in a tough spot. Um, it, it really would be disappointing if the majority of the crowd don't know who EC3 is. No, not from his TNA run. Depends on what kind of fans turn up to house shows, I guess. Uh, Moxley debuted for AEW on last weekend's Double or Nothing pay-per-view, where he attacked both Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega after the main event. So, yeah, an another reason why EC3 wasn't particularly well received, in my opinion, is that... Um, Remember back in the early stages when he was appearing on the main roster, he was just doing mimes like posing in front of mirrors and stuff. Just so something retarded like that that was never going to get over. That that certainly didn't help. And yeah, um, Mock, John Moxley is right. It's definitely not wasn't easy for his fault. It was WWE's fault for the shitty booking or Vince's fault for the shitty booking should I say uh, anyway guys if you enjoyed this video then hit the like subscribe and don't forget to share and I'll see you next time